As many as 300 recovery houses could be in operation in Surrey. And although this house might look like any other, it's got nine people living inside trying to get clean. So does the house next door. Nobody knows for sure how many are in operation since there is no licensing required, which means that anybody can start up an operation. There's over 300. When I first came in, there was three. Three houses in Surrey. Four years ago, there was 144 uh, recovery societies at that time. That doesn't mean that's how many houses. There's a lot more houses than that. Like for an example, myself, I'm a society, but I have five houses. Others put the estimate a bit lower. It's in the 200, 220, 230, something like that in Surrey. Surrey councillor Judy Villeneuve says that she doesn't know how many there are in operation, but adds that it's more than 100, which is typical of big cities, she says. She's also never been to one. The problem is, countless homes are running shady operations, according to the people who have been to them. Some of them, uh, they have... Uh working girls upstairs and, and selling drugs downstairs and, and the other side of the duplex is, is people living trying to live clean. So when they relapse they just go next door and the guy that runs this thing gets their money whether they're clean or they're dirty. Some of them are just in it for the money. Okay. Uh, you know they get their rent off clients and they kick them out a few days later. They get another client in and get their rent and kick them out after. The city knows about the problems but is at a loss with how to deal with them. There used to be government regulations, but the provincial government backed away from that responsibility in 1996. Since then, the problems have only gotten worse. It's a tragic reality that some of the most vulnerable people in society are being taken advantage of. It's insane. It's bizarre. So, yeah, I do see a lot of mental illness, and I was, sometimes I wonder if I'm one of them, but, you know, if I were to give it a number, I think it's going to be... 40%, 50%. Many are saying that the provincial government should be doing more. Uh, the government more. could uh, help us out a lot more and help get uh, crime, get crime off the streets. For the Langara News, I'm Bronwyn Scott.